People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Is she gonna kiss you yet? <gasps> she kissed you! Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in And it fits in his pocket. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? <laughs> Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can, uh... Go on back to your things. Alright. Sweet. I should probably ask her about the flashlight anyway, even though I don't want to. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow? <laughs> Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> nice one, Clementine. Let's talk. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. <laughs> well, that was easier than expected. I thought he was going to kick off. Well, let's go tell your wife. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? 
Sure. Is everything okay? He already knows. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Mummy back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? Killed him with a soul lick. He smashed his head in. <gasps> with a soul lick. I shouldn't have told her, but oh well. Had to be done. Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. <sighs> hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? Murder. It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Uh, let's ask him about the flashlight. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. Wasn't him. Wasn't her. Wasn't Clem. What's over here? There's some broken glass on the ground there. Flashlight glass. Hmm. Oh shit. There's something drawn there. No shit. Chalk. Hmm. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Why do I not like that? Yeah, I was just thinking Clem has pink chalk. Oh dear, it's not going to have been Clementine, is it? Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. <sighs> Clementine. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues yeah, and- Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. Cool. <laughs> Incredibly awesome. Somebody was over here, too. See, I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck, you did. 
I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Out we go then. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Hmm. Well, I can't really move much. What is it they're wanting me to do? Alright, so I have to go this way. There's a grate down there. No shit. Wow.